Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to make a temperature block for your 3D printer. For those of you who don't know who's getting into 3D printing, basically with filaments you got a range in temperature depending on the filament type. And the fact of the matter is, is depending on the manufacturing or even the quality at that time of the filament, you may find that printing at one particular temperature might perform better than the other temperatures. Will give you a better look and also it'll keep you from having felt prints at least from that standpoint now as far as the following model that you're seeing i uh, will leave the link down below i didn't make this but the reason why i like this one is it tests bridging it tests the stringing and all the other stuff on top of it so you get a multitude of tests in one whack so what i will advise you to do at this point is First off, know what type of filament you want to test for, but go if you're on Windows 10, you will automatically have 3D Builder. It's a software that's on Windows 10. Just open that up, go into Start and search for 3D Builder and open that up. And what you want to do is go and throw in the file, go into Edit, go into the uh, click click on the model, and go into Boss and then emboss the temperatures that you'll be testing for at the given point and what that will do is that will let you see at a later time if you need to fix something or whatever it may be so with that one in mind and, and once you save that as a SDL file you can go into Cura it's a, another free program and what you can do is just push it in there have it prep the uh, file Go into the uh, extensions, post processing, modify G code. And from here, what you want to do is change at Z, then go to layer number and find what layer number is from here. Um, and if you don't know what your layer numbers is, if you, if you are going for that one particular model, by the way, in the comments of that model, I don't know if it's going to be buried. It, it, later on or not but find my comments on it and I actually have it at a 0.1 millimeter and also at 0.15 what the layer height would be at that change so once you do that so you, I'm just going to just put in some random layer and what you want to do is is keep that value go all the way down to change extruder temperature one change the to whatever you want and then whenever you want to deal with the next layer height you, you go further and further and further basically what happens here is the um, this changes the temperature per the layer height that's what the script is for keep that value basically says uh, don't don't revert it back after a point just keep it at, at whatever and that way you don't have to worry about it doing some weird stuff so that way I can have it test for what it's like at 260 versus 230 without having too much of a problem in between so as far as that goes if you got any questions anything else feel free to leave that down below but uh, with that one in mind I, you know save that throw it onto your printer and you should be good to go if you want to modify something you get you can click right there or go back up there and modify right there move things around do whatever you need to do but for the most part that's pretty much it now um as far as it goes hope you have a great day and um and hopefully this helps you out